Concrete Heads, Owen Blevins, ConcreteAnswers.tv, bringing you the Internet's most passionate show about concrete plants and equipment. Today, Gary Tuma, the Senior Sales Manager at Conoco in Blair, Nebraska, that's right, the man, the myth, the legend, is going to talk to us today about Conoco's conveyors. Now, what makes Conoco's conveyors so special, you might ask? I'm going to tell you. They're all galvanized, hot-dipped. That's right, hot-dipped galvanized. You know, the minute you paint a conveyor at a factory and the minute you move it, it scratches, it rusts, and then it just starts to deteriorate. Let me tell you something. Nothing like a hot dip galvanized conveyor. And that comes to you at no additional cost from Conoco. It's not an option. That's not an upgrade. That's just standard. That's their level of performance at Conoco. They do the best or they don't do it. So check out Gary talking to us a little bit about hot dip galvanized conveyors. The first thing that you see that rusts on a new batch plant is the conveyors. It's not because they were built wrong or finished wrong. The simple reason is you have angles welded all the way up and you cannot get paint in between these angles. So therefore, they'll start to rust. The very first thing will start to rust. With the hot dip galvanizing, the hot dip galvanizing will actually go in between these cracks and actually galvanize the entire piece. So therefore, we don't see any rusting on our conveyors. Also, we hot dip galvanize all of our handrails, safety cages, tow boards, so on and so forth. And the reason for that is they usually get scratched in shipping, loading, and unloading. Hot dip galvanizing will actually have a tendency to heal over itself, unlike paint. When you scratch the paint, the paint will rust where the paint's going. We're lucky enough in Nebraska that we have manufacturers of pivot irrigation. And because of that, all pivot irrigation is galvanized, we have very large tanks. We have some of the largest galvanizing tanks in the entire United States, all within a very close distance to Conico. This is a typical ungalvanized conveyor section, ready to go up to galvanizing. Again, it's a whole section, it's a 30 foot long unit, ready to be galvanized. And this section that you see here, of course, is, is already starting to rust. So the very first process that we'll do before we hot dip galvanize is, is actually do an acid dip and, and through an acid tank and remove all the rust and, and clean everything up. Here is the finished product. This is a hot dip galvanized conveyor truss section. All right, Creed Heads, so check this out. Did you know that if you scratched a piece of galvanized steel, it would heal over itself to protect the steel below it from rusting? How cool is that? Tell me if paint does that for you. Listen, guys, this is just one of the many, many things that Conoco does to make their plants the best in the industry. So listen, if you have more questions, go to Conoco.com. That's with two hyphens. You can check us out, of course, at maconcrete.com. And you know we love you at ConcreteAnswers.tv. See ya.